Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. I'm really happy to see all of you again today. In today's video, we're going to talk about how we can master Python language in about eight weeks. I will share with you detailed plan how you can learn it from zero to hero. We will try to learn it efficiently. By efficiently, I mean we will leverage the rules 80-20. If you are ready, then let's get started. I know it can be challenging and hard to learn new programming language. That's why I'm here. I will try to help you. In this video, I would like to share with you my plan. It's a way to learn Python. In about eight weeks, we will watch videos, we will read articles, and we will do different exercises. Exercises are very important because the best way to learn is by doing. That's why we need to do a lot of exercise during our learning. I've created this plan for people who don't have a lot of time. So you need about 30 till 50 minutes a day, but you should be consistent. In my plan, I use 80-20 principle, which will help you to learn the most important thing first. And the rest we can improve with practice. If you will watch this video till the end, I will share with you learning tracking sheet that you can use to track your progress. Maybe you have question why I should learn Python. And the answer is really simple because Python is really popular programming language. People use it for data science, web development, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and many other things. Python syntax is really simple and it's easy to understand. That's why it's quite suitable for beginners. Another important thing is career opportunity. Learning Python can lead you to many different jobs in software development, data science, or web development. As you can see, the salary for Python developer is quite good, even for junior developers and entry-level developers also get good amount of money. Probably some of you don't know what does it mean, 80-20 rules. Let me explain you. The 80-20 principle is also called Pareto principle. It's a rule that said 80% of results come from 20% of effort. It means if you learn 20% of Python that are most important, you can get 80% of what you need to be good at it. It means instead of trying to learn everything, we will leverage the most important 20% of the language. How to learn Python in 8 weeks? So let me share with you this plan. In the first week, we should start from basic of Python. It means we will learn syntax, we will learn variables, data types and operators strings, control flow, loops, and we will have review exercises. In week number two, we're going to learn data structure. In this week, you will learn lists, dictionaries, tuples, sets, functions, models, and at the end, we will have again exercise. In week number three, we will have advanced data structure. We will explore dictionaries and set comprehensions, file handling, JSON, and again, consolidate your learning with exercises. In week number four, we are going to learn functions and error handling. You will have deeper understanding of functions. You will learn lambda functions, also we will cover, also we will cover error handling model packages and apply all those concepts in intermediate model. In week number five, we will dive into data science. We will focus on manipulation and visualizations. And at the end, we will have data analysis project. And in the week number six, probably it's the coolest one. You will learn web development and you will learn Flask. You will learn how to build web application using Flask. And at the end, you will have simple web application project. In the week number seven, you will learn object-oriented programming. You will practice creating classes and objects. And as I said, you will develop common line application. Week number eight is the last week and it's your final project. And the last but not least, my personal tip to learn Python efficiently. First, use technique like Pomodoro. 25 minutes of learning, 5 minutes of break. It will help you focus and help you to avoid burnout. Second, is engage with Python community. It could be in Reddit, Discord, Stack Overflow, and any other platform. Third, be consistent. Consistency is a key. Even if it's just 30 minutes a day, do it daily and don't fail and the last thing practice every day practice is really important if you want to get detailed plan with the link to free resources where you can learn all of that things please 
look at the link below this video. Elsa, for all of you who watch this video till the end, I prepare the tracking sheet file that you can use to track your progress. You also can download it from the link that I provide below this video. And that's it. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please click like. If you don't like it, you don't have choice, please click like, but don't forget to share your feedback in comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for your subscribe. If you don't subscribe yet, please do it now. And don't forget to hit a bell for get notification about my new videos. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you. Bye.